Hi guys, Allison from Encilia Hair. Uh, here to give you um, sort of a tutorial on how to deal with Halloween wigs. So Halloween wigs are, it's one of the most dreaded days of my life, wearing wigs, because they're so uncomfortable. Um, so I am going to be Cruella DeVille for Halloween. So I've ordered a lovely little white wig, which I'm going to do a lot of customization to, so stay tuned. Um, but basically it needs to be cut because it's super big. The bangs sit here versus here, and so I just have to get it cut, so I'm at super cut. So let's see how that goes, um, and stay tuned. Okay guys, so here's the Halloween wig before it gets cut. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, so you can see how long the bangs are and how long the hair is. So we're going to get it shortened a lot. Alright guys, so we're halfway through the cut probably, I would say. And my second tip would be make sure your wig is on straight. Um, so it's positioned the way you want it to be. And then if it moves, don't be afraid to um, stop, readjust, and hold the piece down. Um, I don't have any clue or anything underneath the wig. I just popped it on. And so you have to just make sure it stays in the right place um, where you want to be wearing it. All right, guys. So here's the Halloween wig cut. Uh, so we cut length. And then we gave it some texture so it's not the ends aren't so straight. It's a basic synthetic wig. Uh, let me show you the back. You guys can see that. So it is very, very stick straight and it's very shiny. Turn over here. So, well, I don't know why I just did that. Sorry. Just trying to get you guys to see the back. Um, so basically, I'm going to go home and do a couple of things to this, but um, take the shine out, add some texture to it. And also do something fun with the color as well. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So I have added these two products um, to give the hair, to give this wig some dimension. Um, the first is a texturizing volumizing spray, which basically is adding some volume to the hair, and then some dry shampoo. And so what the dry shampoo does is it takes the shine right out. So I'm hoping that the combination of the two of these products makes it look less bone straight. I still want it to be straight, um, but I wanted to give some depth to it, some height, so it wasn't so straight, and then also take the shine right out, and I think it's been accomplished. Um, and so that's what I've done now, and now we're going to do some customization. All right, guys, so for the customization, I'm trying to do a Corella DeVille wig. So I brought, I bought some black hairspray um, and to get the shape of the Dalmatian dog I'm using different tools in my house so I'm using this lovely lemon squeezer and the shape that I like is this and then my husband's tools in his garage so I like this shape of this up here and then this as well so for the Dalmatian dog because their their pattern is like so unique um, I'm trying to sort of mimic that. So basically, I'm just going to hold this up against the wig like so. Probably go this way. This is really trailer error. And you're just going to spray it on. And sort of hope for the best. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. So let's see how this goes. And you kind of want to do it. Quickly, um, let's try one of these patterns. <laughs> so it's just fun, something fun. I thought the different shapes um, would be cool to have for a Dalmatian. Um, wig um, for Corella DeVille. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep working my way through the wig for just some fun, a fun little look. I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. All right, guys. So here is the Corella DeVille wig for Halloween. Um, I'm going to let it dry, the black paint dry a bit, and then I might do some small little dots 
Um, but my favorite tool was definitely the lemon squeezer. This shape I really liked. And then I also really love um, this shape, which I found from our scale in our garage. So, um, but that's that. I have um, a little tip for the top, what I'm gonna do to conceal that top, because it is super fake. Um, and I know it's a wig. I know it's supposed to look like a wig. Um, it's a Halloween wig, but um, for me as a person who wears wigs, I just wanted to kind of make it unique and make it fun and not look so awful like most Halloween wigs. So there you guys go. What do you think? Okay, I know I said I would show you how it's going to conceal the top, but basically I can't wait, so I just want to show you guys now. Um, the easiest way to conceal a fake looking top is to wear a hat. And so I found this really cute little fastener. Um, on Amazon and basically the way I'm gonna wear it is I'm just gonna place it right on the top um, like so and I want it to I'm gonna play with it a bit but I want it to kind of basically come towards the front a bit so it hides the, the front of the wig like this and then it conceals the top because uh, the sides I think are fine and the back is really fine. It's just the top and the little little section towards the front, which is right where that hairline starts. So I want this to sit kind of like this. So I might wet it um, and make it sit a little bit better. It comes with a headband, so I might have to wear the headband, but um, ideally I want to just fasten it in, and I might just use um, some, wig, some wig glue to do that. And that's it. There you guys go.